Okay, in this one we're going to look at how to create a list of questions so you don't have to have a new screen for each question you want to ask. So if you'll notice on my home screen, I have added a label that has, I, I just called it the, uh, the answer or the question, and I have a place for them to put the answer, so I called that one answer, and I have a submit button, called it submit. Also, if you'll notice, I have a win screen and a lose screen. So let's go to the blocks. The blocks are the important part. So in the blocks, I've got a few things I want to do here. These are my the blocks that I had from the last video. And I'm going to add a few more. So we're going to look at a list of stuff. So it's when this home screen opens, things will happen too, but I'll do that in a minute. So first of all, we're going to create three new variables. The first variable is going to be a list of all questions that we're going to have. The next variable is going to be a list of all of the answers. And the last variable is going to be keep track of which question we're on. So we know which question to ask. All right, so we're going to create a list, this first list. These are all going to be text, so I'm just going to highlight each of those and delete them. You can right click and delete them as well, but I'm going to add some text in here. I'm going to do three different questions. Okay, so my first question is what or how many, how many days in a week? The next one will be how many months in a year? And my last one will be what month is it? Okay, so now my list of answers. I'm going to create a list. The first answer is seven. How many days in the week? The second one is 12. How many months in the year? The third one needs to be a text block, and that needs to be the word October. And I'm going to use all lowercase, just like we saw in the user input. So I'm going to make sure it's all changed to lowercase. All right, the question number is, are we on question one, question two, or question three? So when we start the app, we want to make sure we're on question one to begin. Okay. So what we're going to do now is when the screen opens, I'm going to wait two seconds. So first of all, I'll set the, the width of the bar to be zero. Those blocks are down below. Then I'm going to wait two seconds and I'm going to change my question label because right now it says, welcome to the quiz show. And instead I'm going to set the text to be the first question in my list. So if I go over here in lists, I'm going to say, go get question number blah. So I'm going to say this. And we don't need this block because we've already created a list. Our list is called questions. So in variables, I'm going to say in the list called questions, go get our question number because that's going to change. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to say go get the question number that we're currently on. In this case, we're on question one. Go get question one from this list and put it in the question text. So after two seconds, it'll say how many days in a week. All right, now comes the fun part. Now we need to see if their answer matches the question. So when the submit button is clicked, we're going to choose an if block, an if, yeah, an if block. And I'm going to say if what they put in the their answer is equal to the answer for the question that we're on. So let me go get an equal sign. I'll explain more in a sec. So if the text that they answered with, so here an answer, I'm going to go get the text. I also want to make it all lowercase. So I'm going to grab this block. I'm going to say, if we change everything they enter into lowercase, so this is what they answered, if it's lowercase, and if it's equal to the answer for the question that we're on. 
So to make that easy, I'm just going to duplicate this block. And instead of in the questions, I'm going to say in the answers. So if whatever they answered is equal to, in our list of answers, question number one. So answer number one is seven. If that's true, then some things are going to happen. We're not going to win. We just want to go to the next question. So some things are going to happen here. So first things first, I want to add one to whichever question number we're on. So I'm going to grab this set block. I'll have to change the variable name and say, now let's change the question number. Let's add one to it. So I'll grab some math, grab the variable. So we're going to say first time through, it's question one. If they get it right, now we're on question two. And I think we should wait a little bit give them like two seconds and then we'll change the text to be the next question. So let's wait, let's wait one second. And you can have a success thing, you know, something that shows them they're correct, make the progress bar, add a point, do whatever you want here. And then I'm going to change the, the text. So I'm going to duplicate this entire set of blocks. So all of that's going to happen. A lot's happening there. So when they click submit, if their lowercase answer is equal to the answer of which question we're on, so question or answer number one, then add one to the question, wait a second, and now we're going to go ask the next question. And now we're on question two. Okay, let's go try it and see what happens. Um, let's go try it, see what happens. So let's go to the design, let's go to preview. Okay, we're waiting two seconds. Now it asks the question, how many days in a week? Seven. How many months in a year? Twelve. What month is it? October. So it doesn't matter how I put it in there, it's going to change it to lowercase. And now it says undefined. That's because what Thunkable's trying to do is get the next thing in the list. However, we're out of things, we're out of questions. So it kept going and it kept going and it said, well, I kept adding more, but now there are no questions left. So we need another if block in here. I'm going to do an if else. Um, let's say, if the question number that we're on is more than how many items in the list, that means we're out of questions and they've won or whatever you want it to do. So I'm going to go get a math block, I mean a logic block and say, if the question number that we're on is more than, so I'm going to grab this greater than, if the question number we're on is more than how many things are in the list, then we're done. So let's see where we find that one. Right here, the length of the list. That's not our list. Our list is called questions. So if whichever question number we're on is greater than the length of questions, so we have three questions, if it's more than three, we're done and I'm just gonna say that go to the win screen then so if it's greater so we're done we've answered all the questions go to the win screen otherwise wait a second and ask the next one okay let's go try okay we wait two seconds Seven, twelve. What month is it? October. We won. And then we can start over. And I'll let you deal with that in a second because it's going to say undefined. So you'll have to think about why that's undefined. I'm going to leave that one to you. I want you to think about why is Thunkable saying there are no questions left. Think about what we did and think about how you might be able to change that. All right, I think that's it for now.